What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Vengeance here for Cerberus Master 3 Titan Extreme. Let's look, I got the same team that I used in Master 2. Um, Alia's here for her cleanse uh, and her production of blue Naya stones. Fiona is here for her production of blue Mana stones and hopefully some crits. Uh, hopefully some damage. Uh, Survivor is here to slow the uh, Titans attack by one turn as often as possible and give them the frosted effect so they're gaining mana slower, giving you more stones to hit the boss without the boss using his special. Uh, we have Palmyra here. She's typically here because she's going to hit real hard and um, she's also going to dispel if the boss has anything to dispel. Then we will use Aurelia because she's a high damage character. Um, and for all the stones match, she gets to use that passive. And we'll be dumping blue stones on the board the whole game, so she'll be doing tons of passive damage. And we're going to use Glacior for no good reason um, other than he's water and it looks right in this kind of a team but we really probably won't need those heals uh, we will make a blue diamond off the start which is that eye of naya serving its purpose well we'll drop the enemy's attack back one and his mana gain we'll hit him a couple more times produce some more blue stones use our dragon We'll get that chain gun going. And we'll see if we get a crit here. Probably not. No, but it's strong. Okay, so we're going to move this diamond, this uh, tile here over to the right to create another um, diamond. Very nice. Now we're going to use all of our specials again. As you see, the boss at this point so far hasn't been able to hit me because um, Survivor keeps moving that attack back one. We'll just dump these specials real quick. You can see this tile here is friendly, and if I move it to the left, it'll create me another blue diamond for another turn. Very nice. The boss got a shield. Um, let's look at the boss's abilities. Deals 270 damage to target nearby enemy for six hits, and he gives that scorched effect that we've talked about previously. So we're going to want to dispel that as soon as possible. He has a gains an elemental shield when HP drops below 50% for the first time. That's what we see here, the shield over top of him. So it was for 50% of his life. That's gone. Um, rage preparation increases attack at intervals, enters rage upon the sixth increase, uh, deals extra damage to scorched targets, but we're going to try to keep scorched off of our party. Let's go ahead and dispel him right away. There's that. That's gone. His mana is stuck and frozen. As you can see, can't cast uh, or gain mana for two turns because we broke that shield. Um, the attack buff he has is undispellable, that's why that didn't go away. And we've got a few debuffs on him which are represented in blue. Hmm. We kind of ran out of stones here, so the rest of the fight will be pretty cool and fun. He still can't gain mana. We're going to take advantage of that. He's going to be able to hit me next turn. So we'll use Survivor here to back that up a turn. Okay, he is gaining mana now. So let's try to make the biggest match we can on the board. And get some more blue on the board. We need it. All right, so everyone is uh, scorched right now. It's Not somewhere you want to be. There, that's nice. Okay, we're going to get rid of scorched with Alia and her cleanse. Put some more blue stones on the board. We're going to put some more stones on the board from Fiona, and we're going to heal the party. 
and then just to maximize how many stones we're going to get rid of i'm going to blow that up get rid of all of those stones he's going to hit we're going to back him up we're going to slow that mana down again refresh that debuff hit him with aurelia hit him with palmyra and if he's still alive we'll hit him with the dragon too looks like he will still be alive barely oh he's gone cool so that was 10 turns uh with explanation uh that is what was that that was like master three the fifty-five thousand one. so um yeah just uh as far as that party makeup i'll go over that real quick like um the weapons that i have on them increase crit chance for those big hits that take huge chunks of the uh titan's bar down aurelia for all that damage she's also got a uh, curse soul to make sure she stays up um I run the Eye of Naya on Alia, so she produces all those stones for me at the start. Um, and I run the Survivor with an Energizing Whip to get the party at 60% on the first turn. And I run Requiem on Fiona to give her a critical chance opportunity. It's usually at zero, but um, when I cast a skill and get it again the next turn, I get I get a decent amount of crits out of that 27%. She's probably not the best character, but just the fact that she produces the blue stones, she synergizes this team enough that I can get away with her not being a big damage character. I uh, hope this video helped you guys. I uh, hope you pass this, uh, this Titan level. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. Let, that'll let you know when I've come out with some new content. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.